Oh, Frankie, we're back here at Wakefield Park. Look out. Beautiful sunny day, minus something this morning. Oh, look at this. Ground, but, look uh, at the warming up. Look at the sky, Frankie. Not a, not a cloud in the sky. Good day for uh, what a 110, do you reckon? Oh, so here we go. So, what have you brought here, Frankie? Oh, stop it. Well, she's not the prettiest, is she? Well, it's got a face only a mother could love, they say. It's all business, apparently. Yes, a bit of aero. And um, no slick tyres for you today, Frankie. What are you running? Completely stock. Got a set of Michons. Oh, I think they're French. Oh, geez, I think they are. Yes. Yeah, well, here we are. It's a um, track school weekend. So, Frankie, we've got uh, standard 20 inch rims. Now, they're the choice if you want to go fast, aren't they? Yeah, well, I'm not a fan of big, uh, stupid rims like that, but uh, no. that's what she come with, and she's completely standard, isn't it? Oh, it certainly is. And a bit of a polish out in the shed with uh, Mrs. Fred's dish rag last night. and. Could be worth a couple of days down the street. Well, hopefully. No good. So, Frankie, you're just inspecting the colour of these calipers here because you've got your hypothesis is that they're going to change. The um, Notice the nice shiny oh, yeah. Rembo red. Yes. And let's see if it comes back looking more charcoal-ish. Well, I'm hoping it might look a touch purple. Yes, let's hope so. A bit of HQ action here, Frankie. I've never been a bathroom. Very nice. And, uh, out of our camp, Frankie. Got to bring the Mirage out. I'd say so. A bit of 86. Got all the manufacturers. Oh, one of your personal favourites, Frankie. Oh, MX5. And if I'm not mistaken, an SSR20 powered M15. Oh, yeah. What do you think of that? Oh, 
bit better that time, better tyre pressures, Frankie, and um, no traffic makes a world of difference in Lakeville Park. It certainly does. So yeah, just cracked a 110.6 on the Harrods lap timer. Sorry, a 110.6. 110 That's yeah. a PB for you and beats the old uterus, unfortunately. Yeah, unfortunately, knocked the ute off and stock tyres, stock tune, stock everything. So, um, and that's stuffing up two corners. So, on the fish hook, um, I'm still not getting it quite right on the line. It's, I'm getting pushed out and I'm getting a bit of lift off oversteer. And on coming onto the main straight, I'm just turning in too early. So, I'm going to have trial break longer and use second gear and power out of it better. So, not bad. I think a couple of 11s in there and then, then the, the 10 6. So, PB. What more can you ask for, Frankie? I think that's uh, more incentive for us to build a motor for the Ute because you can't have a Honda beating a, no, a Holden it's got Ute, the can right you? Letter with the H. Oh it's, dear. Uh, it's from the it's from the JDM crew, unfortunately. So, um, but this is my daily driver, so yeah, nothing's fallen off it, and it's been reliable as, and yeah. just churning out the times. It is happy days. Frankie, this is the red group. There's some special cars here, my friend. Oh, look at this uh, Evolution behind us. It's got all the uh, Jeez, aero you could want. You reckon we should do that to the Mirage, Frankie? Oh, I reckon you yeah, should. Sure. Look at it. Holy dolly. And um, take us through some other cars here, Frankie. We've got that pretty serious looking green BMW. Yeah, I think they're, they're doing okay yeah. for a $150,000 mm -hmm. car, but yeah. I reckon hold it. Just a bit of a super action. And then the... Oh jeez. That's a Camaro, isn't it? The big green beast here. That looks a bit... Got like a... Yeah, or like a Dodge sort of front end on it. And then that uh, orange Porsche, your favourite. I love their Porsches. Yeah, they're very nice, aren't they? Oh jeez, here we go. Frankie is a Ute. session three and I'm just letting the traffic go so I can get a clear lap so but we'll also put our Harry's lap timer back on we love a bit of Harry's and last lap was a 110 so we'll we'll go again see what little beastie has got R mode, traction control off, here's my rat cunning tip of going out with all the traffic. Let's go. We're going to chase the SR20 again. I'm going to let him get ahead a little bit. Wall up the brakes. And hopefully do the fish hook a bit better this time. are down to about 35 and the track's dried out woohoo which is good and this is where we get a little bit of lift off oversteer as you can 
can see. Put the trail brake a bit more into there. And we'll go for a hot lap, ladies and gentlemen. the fish hook out at the main corner as well but it's a wait and see I haven't looked at the times yet so but it's a lot of fun you can do a lot of laps in this car Alright Frankie, so we've got a fellow supporter of the channel, eh Gary? Woohoo! What do you got here? A little bit of looks a... Looks like a Datsun, doesn't it? Oh, it's, uh, it's got the right motor in it. Oh, uh, it looks like Actually, LS I Life. Be, I wanted to get a Datsun badge for it, but they're about 200 bucks. Oh, oh yeah, <laughs> nice. Motor. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, well, you got some uh, mods to your LS1 here, mate. Take us through um, some little... Oh, notice there's no shower cap on his um, <laughs> no. power steering reservoir. That looks very nice. Very uh, so yeah, it's an LS1, uh, camped. Uh, stock heads with ported and polished. Yeah. It's got an LS2 intake. Oh, uh, nice and, big uh, uh, inflow meter. Yeah, oh, 100, 102, I think it is. Really body. And I notice um, you've um, got some inspiration for this uh, heater delete. Yeah, oh. heater delete. Yeah, watched your channel and did that straight away. Oh, nice Excellent. work. Good reliability mode there, Gary. Nice one. No heater. Oh, very oh, good. Also did the uh, the oil cooler. Oh, Jesus. This is what we need. Mishimoto, that's a thermostat. Oh, oh we were thinking about a max beating one, weren't you? Oh, I don't know about that. That's not really up my own. The only own thing right. I find with it a little bit is that it's a bit hard to tighten it up. It leaks a little bit under really heavy load. Yeah, right. Um, but otherwise, um, no issues. It's made a big difference because I got up to 120 degrees in the oil temperature. I put Jeez. that in and that went straight down. It doesn't go above 90. Well, we I think, just don't look, do we? No, I, I, I go by feel, actually. So, yeah, well, <laughs> and then a one twelve, so it's one of the fastest Datsuns here. Yeah, well, well done, Gary. You're showing up some other uh, high-powered cars out here. Well done. No worries. Thank you. Sister cars are um, going through. Hey. That's it. Exactly. That looks alright, doesn't it? Definitely does. Oh, I like that. Very nice. Very nice. Frankie, we're getting plenty of ideas here. What ideas have you extracted from this driver? Well, uh, definitely some bigger brakes. Oh, and, uh, yes. A little bit of lightning here and there. Yep. Let's take a look at these AP Racing brakes they look, and rotors. Oh, six litre. Six litre, bit fruity. Yeah. This has been tuned on E85, we understand. Yes. Very nice. Very nice. And the, um, it's got like a good cage in there tighten everything up in that cab and as everyone says these utes are not the world's best handling platform frankie but i think we're showing everyone up well it does it uh embarrasses a few people isn't it yeah it certainly does racing around the eagle and tommy mackinan special and yeah you come flying past yeah and load a couple of bales of hay off to the, the cows up in the top attic on the way and yeah, yeah, or uh, maybe spilling some paint in the back frankie <laughs> what are you talking about <laughs> 
And also, Frankie, these are selling like hotcakes in Australia because of the lack of other competitive uh, hot hatches. What do you think? Well, a little birdie told me if you bought a $500 Mirage, you can get pretty close to one. You can at London, we, we've shown that, so that's quite embarrassing. And then we've got the uh, Track School. Love the sound of those XLs. What else is here? Uh, you, you like those uh, cars, Frankie? Not particularly. Uh... Okay, that's very cool. Oh, MR2 Spider. Surprised by the car wasn't here. Yeah, yeah. This guy's um, particularly good at holding people up. That's your favourite. Here comes another high on guy. What's this like? This guy. I30N sedan. It's got a bit of Mate in the SR20, we showed some footage previously of him. Hey, go on, Gary! Here comes Gary onto the main straight. LS powered, Sylvia. Alright Frankie, so it's getting a little bit late in the afternoon here, we've done our sessions, we've proved what we came here to do. What do you think, wrap up for the day? Yeah, well we haven't broken anything, so quit while we're ahead. Right, fair enough. And you've been talking to a few other drivers out there and getting a few ideas for you to yeah, set up. I'm mainly with Holden and Ford Blakes to get some ideas on what we can do and yeah, aren't we inspired and oh. we might have to talk to a couple of blokes. Oh, so I think you're going to buy yourself some lower control arms from KMAC Frankie. I think you're going to be doing some, uh, negative four seems to be the number to get on the front. Well, let's go and try and get some extra uh, uh, negative camber and yeah. maybe a little bit of toe with the wheel wire. Oh. Who knows what we can do with that ute. Well, if the ute's doing a 111 2, I'm thinking with your front strut brace, some of these other modifications, Frankie, we could be banging on the door of a 10 in the ute. It's got a hell. Oh, stop it. No good. <laughs> on that note, don't do it for Dale, do it for Yoda. Catch you later. Yoda.